what we're looking at is a 40% drop in empathy in the last 30 years of American kids, and it's diminishing in American children faster than any other country. We're seeing for a number of reasons. First of all, when you look at that stat, that's a combination of 72 different studies who have been looking at kids for over 30 years of incoming college freshmen, east to west, north to south, regardless of zip code, regardless of gender. But they found the number one starting to go dipping was around the year 2000. So then we look at what's the trigger? A number of factors, because we do know empathy breeds in a culture of caring, that's going. Civility seems to be going. You need face-to-face -face connection. We're very plugged in. As wealth goes up, empathy also goes down. Parenting styles are actually countering empathy development, uh, from discipline to helicoptering to the need for moral courage. Uh, all of our critical for empathy development are also going down and the also we're seeing that children's moral identity is going down because we're not putting so much emphasis on values, what do you stand for, who are you, it's all a matter of what you get as soon as the kid comes home. Empathy can be cultivated, that's the good news. This is something that there is an escape route, we just need to be a little more intentional about realizing we can make a difference on our kids and how they turn out. Second, it's getting that information to uh, parents. So every teacher, let's get it into the hands of a parent so they realize this isn't a temperament, it's not locked into IQ, it is something you can cultivate, but you need to be intentional about it. We've already got the alternative. If we don't take those steps, what we have is narcissism going up and self-absorption kills empathy. Civilization's at stake because it's, not, it's all about social capital are getting along with each other. Third thing that's happening is that if those habits don't go in place, depression, stress starts to build. That's also what we're seeing in children. We are also seeing the fourth most tragic trend in the United States kids right now. They are the loneliest generation on record. UCLA studies just came in of looking at incoming college freshmen for 30 years. This crop is the smartest. Oh ho, they're the smartest. They have the highest, you know, their GPAs are, you know, 4.0s or 7.3s, but they're the loneliest because they're connecting to digital devices and they don't know how to connect with one another. Hate also starts to build and that should be the wake-up call for us all because we're already seeing the signs of that. And bullying. The best antidote we have in our schools to stop bullying is empathy. It's real tough to be able to treat another person cruelly if you can feel, how would I feel if that happened to me?